It'll be one to go this time, bye. Coming to the green, buddy, coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, 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 take, 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 go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. We kind of... And I went in circles there for a little bit. At the end, when it cooled down, it got a little better, but it's a little late. But uh, I think, uh, you know, I, I, I had a car good enough to beat the 24. He, he pinned me down here in the last lap, and I got me really loose, so lost a bunch of momentum. But hey, it's what it is. So we finished third. That is good for the chase, and I don't know, we just move on. Well, I didn't think we were a second place car, so we're pretty happy about finishing second. Um, you know, we, we had a good pit stop and, and some, you know, good restarts there and, and we're able to get ourselves actually into the lead, but couldn't maintain it. Um, you know, my car just didn't work good on the outside, especially early in the run. So, you know, we kind of gave up that lane to the 48 and, um, you know, once you give up that lane to them, he was so good up there, you're going you're gonna to lose the lead. And so we did. and. You know, we've got to be happy with second. That was a, a good day for us. Um, we did a really good job staying on top of things. We had, had solid pit stops. Um, thankfully, it wasn't down to two-tire strategy or fuel only or something goofy at the end. Um, the tough part, really, at the end of the race was the restarts, and it's so tough to, um, with a straightaway this long, it's tough to get a good start. It's tough to control your destiny on a restart because the guys behind you, really control who's going to lead going into turn one. Um, sometimes you get it right, sometimes you don't. If the guy behind you gets your poor start, you're not going anywhere. It's almost like being at Daytona or Talladega with the drafts. I don't, I don't want to go there. I don't, I don't want to think about those things. I mean, if we are in the hunt, come Homestead, come Phoenix, you know, it's going to be the, the, the thoughts, the emotions, all of that's going to be so heavy on all of our shoulders that um, it's going to be a tough, you know, tough grind. But right now, um, it's still early enough to where we can kind of brush it off and say, okay, we did what we needed to. Let's go to Charlotte. And then, uh, you know, as we get closer to the end, there's no doubt it's going to ratchet up. But right now, uh, you know, we did all we could today. I mean, last week, um, if you had a chance to speak to us after the race, we we're all ready to jump off a cliff. Um, you know, this week, we're on top of the world. So it, it's the sport we, we call home is, is tough on us. This is NASCAR Newscast. Jimmy Johnson held off teammate Jeff Gordon to score the victory in Sunday's Pepsi 500 at Auto Club Speedway. Johnson jumped ahead on the final restart of the race with three laps to go and went on to his fourth career win at the Southern California track. Jimmy Johnson comes off of turn number four. He is the first four-time winner at the Auto Club Speedway. Jimmy Johnson wins the Pepsi 500. Jeff Gordon comes across the line in second. Juan Pablo Montoya finishes third with Mark Martin and Tony Stewart fourth and fifth. A real good day. Um, you know, there were points where the 42 was better than us. Um, I think a couple cars like the 11 for you know a handful of laps could uh, show some really, really good pace. Uh, but you know, it seemed like on the long haul for the majority of the race we, we had what we needed. So um, we made some adjustments. I think that the track came to us some when the sun came out. With the win, Johnson took the lead in the NASCAR Spring Cup Series point standings by 12 over teammate Mark Martin with four races complete in the 10-race chase for the Spring Cup schedule. Gordon's second-place finish moved him up two spots in the standings to fifth. Well, I didn't think we were a second-place car, so we're pretty happy about finishing second. Um, you know, we, we had a good pit stop and, and some you know good restarts there, and, and we're able to get ourselves actually into the lead, but couldn't maintain it. Um, you know, my car just didn't work good on the outside. Juan Pablo Montoya's third place finish was his fourth straight top five of the chase. Johnson, Martin, and Montoya, who is 58 points behind, are the top three in the standings with Tony Stewart and Gordon rounding out the top five as the series heads to Lowe's Motor Speedway in Charlotte for the only night race of the chase next Saturday and the NASCAR Banking 500 only from Bank of America. This is NASCAR Newscast.